Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Excellent, gentlemen. <laughs> um, okay. My name is Brent Lamson. I'm the vice chair of the sewer commission. Our chairman is not present, so I'll be running the meeting this evening. Um, I would like to ask everyone to join me in the Pledge of Allegiance to begin the meeting. I believe Bill has a flag. Mm -hmm. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> I pledge allegiance <laughs> to the flag <laughs> of the United <laughs> States of America, America and to the, and to the Republic, Republic for which it stands, one, one nation, nation under God, God indivisible, indivisible, with liberty, liberty and justice, and justice for all. Thank you, everyone. Uh, in accordance with the requirements of open meeting law, please be advised that this meeting of the Sewer Commission is being recorded and will be able to be found on the Lunenburg Access YouTube channel after the meeting. The following information is also provided for members of the public that would like to participate in the meeting remotely. To, per to participate remotely from a computer, please use the link to join um, the public meeting webinar found on our posted agenda, or from a telephone dial the toll-free number 888-475-4499 and enter the webinar ID number, which is 766-316-7607. If you do not have a registered, if you are not registered with Zoom, you will be asked uh, for your name and email address, no no participant to per, no participant ID is needed. Just press pound when asked. Um, I will do a roll call vote to confirm that which members are here. Um, each state your member's name when I call you, please. Um, I'm just going to run down the list. Eli Torres is not here. Joseph Hurley here. Uh, Scott Dahl. Here. Um, Brett Ramston, myself, is here. Mike Macklin, and he is not here either. Otherwise, I would not be running the meeting. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to do a roll call for the staff. Uh, Bill Bernard. I'm here. Thank you very much. And Jane Ranley is not here yet. Uh, is there any public or comment from the public? I don't see any. Do you, Bill? Nope. No public tonight. Be quiet meeting here. Mm -hmm. um, is there any pub public or is there any comment from the commissioners or staff? I okay. would like to I would like to just say thanks to Bill Bernard for um, getting our information together again and rolling as a temporary um, manager of the sewer commission and be doing a bang up job sir so thank you you're welcome and, and keeping me in the loop um so current business moving right into it we we have the minutes from meetings stemming back to july 30th um bill i would like to did you have a comment scott oh i thought someone was talking um I would like to suggest, Bill, I don't know what you think of this. Um, we could vote on the 9-24-24 meeting, but previous to which those other four meetings, um, really it was mostly Mike Mack and, and myself. I think we might want to wait to yeah. vote on those. Um, is everybody good with waiting on those till the next meeting? It's fine with me. Okay. And gentlemen, have you had a look at the 924 minutes? Any no, you. Yeah. Okay. Um, would anyone like to make a motion to accept those minutes? I'll make a motion to accept the minutes. Uh, motion is made. Is there a second on I'll that? Second. Motion? Thank you, Joe. Uh, having been, um, what the hell? I just drew a complete blank, gentlemen. <laughs> And seconded, um, I'll do a, uh, we'll make a vote. Um, Scott? Aye. And Joe? Aye. And I for myself. 
24, 24 minutes have been accepted. Motion, that's the word I'm looking for. It was a very long day for me, gentlemen. Please excuse me. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, uh, item B on the agenda um, of current business is the Mass One line repairs um, updated cost estimate uh, with a discussion and possible vote. Um, Bill, could you provide us with an update on that? Yeah, so uh, CTE and their uh, subcontractor, Pride Environmental, were taking a closer look at the work, and they noticed that there's two gate valves that are not working. They must have tried to exercise them, and they're not working. So uh, I what asked are these them that. Doing? Well, the, these are valves that we will need to make these repairs, you know, the. Oh. the cut the water off, right, the, the flow off. And so um, good that they tried it. So I asked them for a, uh, a price. And then the other thing is we're going to be uh, digging, um, which we knew from the, the previous cost estimate, but they're going to have a, a, a pile of dirt. And we are right near a wetlands. So I asked them to give me a price to put the, a silt fence around it so if it does happen to rain or it doesn't wash off into the wetlands, right? So they uh, came back with a cost estimate for that. So the, the job was 66,770. Now the estimated cost is 88,627 or almost, almost $22,000 more to do that additional work. And they're still looking to do the work uh, in the next couple of weeks. So we're going to. So I guess, uh, I guess it's probably best if if um, the commission you know, votes to approve that extra work, but it, it, it is work that needs to be done. So it's kind of hard to say no, but it's up to you. Yeah. Bill, how do they go about changing these valves? And there's two of them. Yeah. Um, are they located at the top of the street? Or are they down near the the pump station? Oh, you caught me off guard. I should have looked at the plans to see exactly where they are. I'm not not a hundred percent sure. These are the valves that would shut off the flow so that they could repair the original problem. Correct. Yep. Hmm. And they can't shut them off to change those. No, so yeah, it's good yeah. questions. I wish I had better answers for you tonight. Sorry, guys. <laughs> well, did, did they uh, shed any light on why they failed, or are we not oh. exercising them, or probably not? Yeah, probably haven't been exercised in a while, and they are at least twenty years old now. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Question, Bill. Um, did you have any more comments, Scott? Or a question? No, no, no. Question. Another that raises another question for me before we even continue the discussion is: Does every uh, pump station have valves like this upstream? I assume they do. I, yeah. Well, the major stations are pretty much the same. So, yeah. Um, um, I don't know if we talked about it, but Dana Street isn't too far behind in the condition as, as mass one here is. So Dana street would be a, the next one we tackle. And that's, that's our main station. We yeah. really don't want that one to have issues. Gentlemen, I'm just wondering if it might behoove us to have CTE while they're doing their regular service. Is it a big deal for them to try those valves on Dana at least? It's See not that big of a deal. Yeah. See if they function at all. Just yep, looking that's... Bad, you know. Mm -hmm. So we're not caught by that is a good thought. I will well, ask... yeah, and it can be put in the original bid. Mm -hmm. Um I did get a look at that new bid. Did you gentlemen get a look at that? I did that was a couple days ago, right? When we sent it. I think yes. Bill sent it. Yeah, yeah, I looked yeah. at it then. I, I don't have a copy of it in front of me right now. Okay. Bill, you're not able to put that up, are you? Uh, sure. 
Oh yeah, Let's that'd be see. great. Yeah, screen. Uh, oops, only. How do I do it here? Oops. Should be a share screen on the drop down yep, menu. There it is. Yeah. I got a whole bunch of windows open, so I got to pick the right one. Can <laughs> you see it now? Yes. I see right. something. Yeah. So the extra work is at 20,867, right? All right, let's get a look at that. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a really messy job in riser boxes. Mm -hmm. Um is there a price for the silk pens on this one? I don't uh, it's built into that twenty thousand eight sixty seven. Oh, it's in there. Okay. Yeah. I mean, in the end, it is what it is oh, because right. exactly. you can't you can't do it without it, right? I mean, these are the yeah. the shutoffs to the flow of what they want to fix. Um, yeah. are, no, are, no are we just replacing with the exact same kind of cutoffs that failed after twenty? Is it you know an upgraded version or just better technology now or? With one that's being replaced, yeah. or are they just unseizing them? Yeah, it's probably very similar technology, but yeah, should get another twenty years out of it. And like you we're talking about, I can have them exercise them once in a while, so get some longer life out of them. Well, I mean, I look. I didn't even know if it was a thing. It was just more of uh, you know, kind of the whole flush and hydrant thing. You know what I mean? If it's something that has to be in a maintenance. But yeah, I mean, look, we, as far as I'm concerned, we have to do it. And we have to defer to them of, uh, you know, I mean, I get it. You got to cut off the waste before you try to replace any of the pump. All right. Yeah. Bill, I got a question for you on the subject Scott brought up. Mm -hmm. um, there's been a couple of things recently that we're learning about our older system that we should have been doing. One is draining wells occasionally all the way. Um, did we not say we should, you know, do this now uh, annually or every couple of years, maybe to get a good eye on things instead of letting things go too far, where things might be savable? Yeah. So the the pumping out of the, the wet wells, <clears throat> that is, um, I think we said the major, the three big stations would do every year, and yeah. the smaller ones kind of as needed. So actually, uh, Robert from CTE came in uh, yesterday, and he mentioned that uh, Francis Street and West Street need to be um, drained and cleaned. So okay. I will be scheduling that, too. Okay. I didn't know if we want to somehow get this on their regular radar and include mm -hmm. turning on and off these shutoffs. Yeah, just checking the cutoff. Yeah. Yeah. See if they work. See if they turn. And then, yeah, it's something. I didn't mean to cut you off, but I'm thinking mm -hmm. in my thought process, they might want to be checked a couple times a year. The shutoffs. We're talking about something that can rust, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. So I'm just thinking out loud. I guess uh, the next time. We go out the bid. Maybe I could put in some more of the scheduled maintenance that we expect, so it'd be in the contract, so everybody would be aware of it. That's exactly my thinking. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, just mm. just a straight PM. Right, we have some language in there now, but yeah, we'll find the note. There's, there's more that needs to be done, right? So add that in also. In general, Scott, we're a pretty young system. Yeah. And um okay, so what was not, not the whole town on uh private, you know, thirty years ago. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, That's sections great. of town went to Lemonster and or Fitzburg, you know, the Whalem area. Some of that's really yeah. old. But most oh, really? of the most of the stuff is about twenty years old. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
mean, I'm on Mass Ave, so I just assumed uh, it, it would definitely be on public anyways, just because mm -hmm. the state road or whatever, you know. But right. but not all of Mass Ave is on yeah. sewer. The sections without. Interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I guess I'm lucky then. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I mean. Uh, eventually, everyone will be on that's on Mass Ave for sure. Do we want to vote this in tonight as not to delay it, or do we want to wait until we have others here? I mean, um, no, I think we should. We have a quorum. And I think we have to, yeah. I think there's something we need to do unless somebody has an objection. And uh, I know he couldn't be here, but I'm sure he read his email a couple of days ago and he would have uh, yeah. messaged any concerns. So, yeah, everyone's had a chance. Mm -hmm. So let's uh, let's see. Does someone want to make a motion? Yeah. I'll to make a motion to accept the additional bid for the math one. I'll second it. That mass one repairs. All right. It's been uh motion has been made and second, and we'll do a roll call vote. Scott? Aye. And Joe? Aye. And I for myself, we can move forward with these repairs. Bill, I just wanted to talk it out a little bit. That's all. No, that's good. <clears throat> that's what you're here for, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it it has to be done, and we're not going to stop a contractor who's uh, scheduling mm -hmm. huge work within weeks. That's like, mm -hmm. as a contractor, I can tell you that's tomorrow if you're the contractor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, okay, gentlemen, thank you. Um, now we're moving on to the DPW um, <laughs> updates. Director updates, and uh, we're going to start with the business manager position, Bill, to uh, see what you've learned recently, if anything. Update us. Yeah, so <clears throat> last meeting, we talked about the, the woman that we had interviewed, and, you know, we held off on ratifying her be because we didn't um, check our references. Well, it turns out we still haven't checked the references because the one that she gave us never responded, won't call back. Uh, we asked the candidate to provide other references and she has not. So it's not looking good. <laughs> not looking good. If, yeah, we don't have any references and, and she's not hounding us, you know, where's the job? Why aren't I hired? So yeah. it's... Uh, I don't think it's going to work out. Yeah, she's not talking to you about it. That's a terrible sign. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> so, so to make up for have, not having a business manager, uh, I've been doing what I can, but uh, Paula Bertram, our former manager, uh, came in and helped me uh, when, on Friday last week. I had a huge stack of paper for her to go through, and she made it through everything. So that was good. And uh, talking with the town manager, um, um, the DPW has an executive assistant, and they said that she could have a, a few hours overtime to help enter some of the invoices into our accounting system so we can get all our vendors paid. So between Paula and and it's her name Samantha, Paula and Samantha, we're, we're keeping things going in, in myself, of course. Um, can I just real quick, sh should we reconsider the decision to not hire the assistant? Um, if we have <laughs> candidates, I mean, if in a in a in another universe, the the main person quit and the assistant was still in place. It's not like anyone assuming this position is would always be guaranteed to hire their replacement and they mm -hmm. could at least take busy work off your plate and you can have some time not at the mm -hmm. office. Yeah, Joe, I was thinking the same thing today because we do have a couple of candidates for the assistant uh, position and some of them look pretty decent. So, yeah. My, I hate to lose them. Yeah, my first thought is, oh, let's wait to hire the a business manager, but maybe yeah. we should start interviewing. <laughs> Does anybody in that pool seem like they could potentially take on the larger job? I mean, 
Yeah, that's mm. what I was just asking. You want to hire yeah. for people's ceiling, right? Like, where are they going to be yeah. in 18 months? Not what's the worst they could be tomorrow? Like, mm. I, I don't know. Yeah, they're all applying for that, you know, the part time 19 hours. So I don't oh, know if they want the 40 okay. hours. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, but, but having said that, gentlemen, with the overload Bill has right now, and bringing, you know, we're we're going to be using his executive assistant Paula when she's available. I mean, at, at least if if we can get somebody who wants the job and seems decent, and she's not going to have someone to show her all the ropes, but at least there'll be some more help mm -hmm. for you. Bill. 19 hours a week is a chunk. You know, yeah, doesn't yeah. know the job yet. Yeah, I mean, I, at this point, I wouldn't say I, uh, I would, you know, strongly urge you to move on mm -hmm. uh, to the best possible candidate you can have in the role. And then, yeah, all right, the cards just didn't work out for the business manager right now, but we, you don't want to potentially lose somebody. And who knows, maybe down the road, maybe she's just looking for something part-time right now, but you never know. Life right. changes in a, in a year or six months or, or a couple yeah. of months. You know. Exactly. So you never know if that mm -hmm. you know, person's needs will change. And, you know, maybe then you have your, your built-in person that at least knows part of it, at least knows the system, which you seem to have indicated mm -hmm. it's been the hardest part. Um, so it's not ideal, <laughs> you know, but no, at this no, point, you, at this point, you need something. I don't think the town's going to be too happy if bills are get, going out and vendors are like, well, we're not coming out to mm -hmm. help you until this is paid. And you're coming into a, mm -hmm. probably a, but I'm assuming is a, a important purchasing season too, you know, before the winter and um, no need to have bad uh, vendor relations. Right. I concur. Um, yeah. You don't need a vote from us yeah. to move forward that, do you? I don't, yeah. I don't, but I will uh, reach out to the human resources director tomorrow and tell her this is the, uh, the will of the commission. And I agree with yeah. her. Tomorrow, call her now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, she's a, she's no, home I'm... now, but <laughs> no. <laughs> Very well, good. that I mean that's good. You did you got the hardest part of getting the overtime okayed for your assistant. So right, right, yeah. yeah. I still don't turn that down. Keep keep her in the loop. Oh well, yeah, I, I needed to enter a bunch of uh, invoices because, yeah. like you said, we have to pay our vendors, right? That, yeah, that's a given. So, uh, and a couple I'll find couple, any way to get that done. <laughs> a couple hours of overtime is not going to equal the salary of the two missing people over the course of yeah. several months. Like, yeah, it's, you got it. We're still mm -hmm. in the green. Also, Bill mm -hmm. leads me to another question that I thought of earlier. Um, invoices to vendors is a great thing, and keeping them, you know, happy and functioning, which is really key. Um, however. When is our next quarterly billing due to go out? And who the heck is going to handle that with our <laughs> existing software situation? It's just mm. somebody had to ask you this. That's, that's a good question. So the billing has to go out at the end of the month. So Jeez. two weeks away, October. right? A week and a half away. So Paul well, is going to come in and uh, help me do it. And uh, wow. Jane, Jane is here now, and she's going to do okay. some the envelopes. <laughs> Thank you, Jane. Mm. All right. So the the challenge is just basically being able to get the information into and then back out of the system. It's not it, it's not a physical demand. It's not a it's, no. it's not of a you know. Gee, should we send out an estimated rate? You know. Uh, so it's basically strictly technological. Yep. Right. There's, the there's technology about... isn't exactly up to par as the problems go. Well, yeah, it's just yeah. it's there. We just need to know how to use it. Yeah. Right. Okay. Right. There's about yeah. 50 steps you gotta take to, to get the bills out. Um, yeah. That's how to do it pretty well. So you know, I'll try to follow with her. So I okay. understand that a little bit. 
Well, maybe the part-time uh, person is, uh, you know, I don't know how quickly they can be onboarded, but, you know, the, yeah. the sooner the better if she accepts. True. See what she's doing tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> all right, that's, that's all that's jumping here. But do what you can. All right. All right, gentlemen. Um, okay. Well, fun. Uh, moving along here. What do we got? I lost my screen. And thank you for being here, Jane. It's great to have you. <laughs> oh, I was muted. And then um, welcome. <laughs> excellent. Um, I guess uh, we already discussed the assistant to the business manager position. Um, and we'll move on to manhole repair. Um, IFB update and William, what if, where would we sit there for an update? All right, <clears throat> easy one. The bid opening is tomorrow. I got my fingers crossed. We get some good bids and we can get the work. <laughs> Great, very good. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we've got a special town meeting articles coming up. Um, do you have an update on those mm -hmm. articles by chance, Bill? Yeah. So again, the like last time, the, the last thing I heard was um, fiscal 24 hasn't been closed, although it should be closed now. But I think it's too late to get the article on to the November town meeting, the special town meeting. So it's probably going to have to clean up our business in the May town meeting. Right. Yes, we did discuss this. Yeah. 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 We're just keeping this on the agenda to have it there, I believe, as I recall. Yep. Very good. Um, how about any future agenda items? Does anybody have anything? I mean, obviously, we're going to want an update on the assistant. Mm -hmm. We're going to want an update on any possible new business manager. Um, yes. You know, possibilities. Um, could we also have on there um, whether or not the billing is successfully expedited by the next meeting? Just to know yep. how it, because it may still be in progress, knowing our current facilitation right. of uh, hodgepodge of help we have. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Definitely. Yeah. For, for a challenging moment. Um, so that would be good to have. Um, what else do we need on there? Oh, obviously, if they've started some line repairs, we're going to want mass one discussion up there. Um, Obviously, the um, the acceptance of the past minutes, includes, including tonight's mm -hmm. minutes. And then um, anything else I'm missing, Bill, before we ask everyone else? Um, yeah, I have um, a change in use that we will need to vote on for a, a business. It's a real simple one. I, I didn't get it on the agenda fast enough for tonight, but I'll add that on there. And uh, thank you. And I appreciate you keeping the agenda simple tonight with me. <laughs> and um, uh, Joe or Scott, do you have anything you can think of that I, that Bill and I have not mentioned? Um, I, I do not. No, me neither. Okay, right, very good. All right, uh, and of course, Bill, you'll keep your eyes open for anything else that springs up, um, any new connections and so forth and mm -hmm. so on. Absolutely. Uh, all right, and is there any public comment from the public? I still don't see any public. Is there any, pub, uh, mm -hmm. any comment from commissioners or staff that would like to be mentioned? Done. All right. Um, well, let's talk about the upcoming scheduled sewer commission meetings and activities. Uh, our November 5th is going to be our first hybrid meeting um, to be held at the DPW at 7 p.m. in person okay. for those who can make it. That should be exciting and new. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Um, the November 19th meeting is going to be a Zoom meeting. And then December 10th um, is going to also be, <clears throat> as we 
voted on, we're going to be doing the hopscotch from hybrid to Zoom. So yes. December 10th will also be a hybrid meeting at the town DBW oh. building. So we have one meeting we need to talk about. Um, Bill put question mark question marks next next to the December twenty fourth meeting for a good reason. See, <laughs> those of us who celebrate Christmas may or may not want to be meeting on Christmas Eve. Um, some of us uh, might be shot by our wives or <laughs> um, interfering with some family traditions. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I would like to uh, talk about making a motion and a vote to not meet on Christmas Eve and just skip that meeting. Is there anybody that wants to discuss that further? Is there any reason that we would have to meet before the end of the calendar year? Anything imperative or anything? No? And calendar, calendar year doesn't usually affect us very much, Bill, does it? So, no, it doesn't. Uh, I, I mean, I don't have any concerns with skipping a Christmas Eve meeting. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Are you all set with Tessa? Uh, well, we'll just make a motion. Can someone make a motion to uh, to okay. skip the Christmas Eve meeting on I'll, December I'll, 24th? I'll motion to skip the Christmas Eve meeting on uh, December 24th. There's, there's a motion in there, and uh, Scott I, can have a... I, I want my wife to hear me second it. I, I I do I do second the motion. All right, roll call vote. Joe. Aye. And Scott. Aye. And I for myself. So we get to have Christmas Eve off, everybody. And, uh, yep. All right. Very good. Um, and then um, that leaves one more motion to be made. Everybody, and that's a motion to close the meeting for tonight. Yep. I'll motion to close the meeting. And Scott can have a second for that motion. Oh, sorry. That was me, the motion to close the meeting. Yeah. Oh, right. Hi. Cho, I'll, sorry. I'll second the motion. I, I, was, I was looking at Cho calling him Scott. So. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's do a, a, a roll call vote on uh, Joe. Aye. And Scott? Aye. And I for myself, um, we are officially closed for the evening. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate it. Good night, Lunenberg. And uh, 